guys and welcome back to the lazy girls kitchen if you are new i'm maggie and welcome it's been forever since i filmed a video with me talking oops so i just wanted to go ahead and do that this time because i miss talking to you guys um if you are not aware i had a little baby boy a few months ago and my life has been so amazing and i've just been so in love with him so my filming has not been as consistent as it should so I apologize for that, but I am back and I am so excited to share him with you guys soon. Um, today what we're going to do is kind of like an updated version of how I like to make my charcuterie board. The holidays are coming up, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Hanukkah, um, whatever you celebrate. Um, I want to share with you how I like to make mine. Again, this is not a recipe, this is just kind of like a road map. Um, in a way it's like whatever direction you take, you still get the same outcome. So. Um, yeah, so let's get started. <clears throat> so I like to really start with cheeses. I don't do a ton um, just because I'm not like a super cheese lover. So I am going to just share with you what I use. I really like using cheddar for like a cubes cheese and then I don't use any soft cheeses anymore. But I do really like to use the mozzarella pearls. Um, I think that this goes just so well with everything so let's just take a couple of these out and then I'm just using some random bowls <laughs> that I have all over the house because well that's life right now um, I also just want to point out that you don't need to go buy like a fancy board I'm gonna get rid of some of the liquid as I was saying, you don't need to go buy a fancy board for this. Just really use a cutting board. That's what I'm using today. I do have a charcuterie board, but I find that this is just a lot better than my board. So, and then I can garnish it with some basil or whatever I have on hand. Up my um, Vermont cheddar cheese, whatever cheddar cheese you want to use. This was just on sale at my supermarket. Therefore, Vermont cheddar cheese is what I will be using. Um, and you can do slices, you can do cubes, whatever your heart desires. I do whatever I feel like doing. I think that the cubes look nice, but um, not always super practical because I have very picky family members who are like, I'm not going to eat a block of cheese <laughs> so you know you gotta do what you gotta do I like it so there is no like rhyme or reason to the way I do this I just kind of put stuff everywhere <laughs> so I'm gonna put this here just kind of nestle it wherever you feel your soul is telling you to put it so and if you want more you can do more but you know oh so good I'm gonna do a little jam and I get these just at my local supermarket um they're just little um jam jars and I think that they're just like perfect for this so I go ahead and use that um and again you can use whatever you want um I kind of just you know I lay it out like this and then I go from there I always do fresh fruit and I usually do what's in season because fruit is expensive so I do what's in season I always do grapes and I just wait till they're on sale and buy them <laughs> and then with fruit what I do is I just cut it with my apples I just cut them in like really thin slices and I kid you not, people get on me about this all the time, but this is the first thing to go every single time. I kid you not. Like, I I eat that end, by the way. Um, I don't know why, but people love it. I'm going to fan them out. And then this also goes really good with the cheese. So I do apples. I would say give it a try once. See if you like it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put apples maybe over here too. 
and I kind of just fix it as I go you know what I mean these I'm not gonna put because I'm not gonna have that much space so I'm gonna snack on them while I'm cooking okay next thing I do is dried fruit I always have fresh fruit and dried fruit I still have to put the grapes out but I'm gonna wait for a second so for my dried fruit I'm gonna go ahead I'm using apricots for this because they were on sale <laughs> really no rhyme or reason for this they were on sale so I thought why not and I'm just gonna stick the bowl I don't know somewhere I fix it as I go um what's next I always now I always do pickles I never used to never ever 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 and I ended up going to like a friend's barbecue one year and she had pickles in there and I was like oh and your charcuterie board and I could not stop eating them so I thought what a clever idea and now I also do pickles we've got our pickles and now I think I'm gonna do some crackers I buy let's talk about crackers for a second I buy like an assortment of crackers at the store and um I just use whatever my heart desires um let's see some of these are already broken but if you I usually buy mine at Aldi's these are broken oh no and then you're just gonna scatter your crackers all over the board and you use as many or as little as you want um, okay so what do we have left our grapes I'm using red grapes because that's what was on sale now all I'm gonna do is like scatter them throughout the board just like so mm. The star of the show is always the meats. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I love anything meat. <laughs> so I just, again, buy, usually this is on sale for me, like these, um, they're like a variety pack that you can use for a charcuterie board, so I'll buy that. If not, then I usually get prosciutto, salami is a must for me. Um, I do pepperoni, but not like the ones that you buy in the bag. I buy the ones that I slice myself, and I absolutely love it. So, the good thing about these two is that they come like nicely laid out. So, if you don't want to do too much to them, you don't have to. So, I'm going to just put this one here. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna maybe roll them like this there we go this is gonna take me a minute so don't mind <laughs> me just gonna kind of fluff them up like that I think that is it so I'm gonna give you kind of like a quick tour of the board and then I'm gonna eat <laughs> Okay, so here is the board. As you can see, it's really full. It's delicious looking. Um, and it was so easy, you don't have to cook anything, which is my favorite. And this is gonna be like the biggest hit for any of your holiday get-togethers. So make sure that you give it a try. Um, let me give it a try while we're here. Let's see, can you see me? Okay, um, I'm gonna take some crackers from here so I don't mess up my board. I want to take a really nice picture. I'm going to take a cracker, some of this, and then a piece of cheese. I should have cut them bigger, but you know what? I'm trying to please everybody and some people don't like it too big, some people don't like it too small. You can't win. I'm 
gonna go take a picture of this and then I'm gonna sit down and finish it off <laughs> so again this is not a recipe in the on the website on www.theleesgirlskitchen.com what I'll do is sorry I didn't mean to talk with my mouth full I'll just write out kind of what I used and kind of the rules I go by and then you work with that all right guys I hope that you enjoy this please be kind everybody has their own thing so please don't tear me down for the way I do mine and I will see you guys next time. Bye.